Grace can come by degrees because he used the word greater. So anything you can have greater, you can have lesser. So he gives greater grace. A lot of Christians are operating on limited grace. They got enough grace to save them, but they don't have enough grace to change them. They had enough grace to forgive them, but they don't have enough grace working to empower them. But guess what? He says, if you tell the world that I am your love, that you are married to me, and that I'm not going to let you cause me to lose out on my relationship with the Lord, I give greater grace. Grace is divine favor. It is unmerited favor. It is where God dispenses. We, we all have faucets in our home. And based on how far you open it, that tells you how much comes out of it. If you just open it a tiny bit, you'll get a drip. If you open up a little bit more, you know, it, it'll start to run. If you open up all the way, it's, it's gushing. Why? Because you've opened it up for the full expression of what it can do. A lot of our relationship with Christ sometimes is totally off. Some Christians have drip, drip, drip every now and then. Other Christians may have a stream, but some Christians want a flood. And he says, I give greater grace. In other words, you'll see more of my favor, more of my involvement, more of my clarity, more of my correction. He says, you, I can give you as much grace as you can handle. He says, but not if you are friends with the world. Why should I give favor to somebody who doesn't want me, who only wants me when it's convenient? Why should I give grace, divine, unmerited favor? But when God gives greater grace, when God gives greater presence, then you'll find victory over things you never had victory over before. You'll find addictions being overcome. You'll find relationships being restored. You'll find your mind getting right. You'll find support from heaven helping you on earth because God is free to give greater, greater, greater grace because he knows you're not going to take the grace and give it to the world that doesn't want it.